what more is there to the atom's nucleus? To answer this, we'll need a little help from chemistry's best friend, physics. But not your ordinary Newtonian physics, not your ordinary laws and forces of motion, we'll need to delve even deeper than that. We're gonna need to go quantum. Quantum, as in quantum chromodynamics. Quantum chromodynamics describes particle interactions through the strong force. So as you've been taught in most chemistry classrooms, the atom breaks down to protons, neutrons, and electrons. Once you go farther than that and break down the protons and neutrons, you would find that they are comprised of smaller particles called up quarks and down quarks, basically quarks. What is it that keeps the protons and neutrons together? Better yet, what is it that keeps the quarks together? Okay, so let's start off at the most basic level of QCD, basically where we have quarks and gluons. So quarks are the constituents of protons and neutrons, those are the matter particles, but exchanged between them are special force creating particles called, again, gluons. The gluons keep them together, they glue the quarks together. So let's imagine that these two pool balls are quarks and that the rubber band confining them to one another is the constant exchange of gluons. So according to the rules governing the strong nuclear force, the farther you pull one quark from another, the stronger the force becomes, the harder it gets to pull the two quarks away from each other. So what if there was enough energy to perhaps snap the rubber band? As seen in this graphic, an up quark leaves the proton and the new quark antiquark pair forms. The newly formed up quark in the pair goes to fill in the place in the proton, and the newly formed antiquark goes to accompany the up quark that has left the proton. This is how protons and neutrons exchange mesons. Protons and neutrons exchange mesons in order to stick together. This is called the residual strong force. Okay, so we've run into a problem. The coexisting two up quarks in the proton and the coexisting two down quarks in the neutron are violating the Pauli exclusion principle. Basically, the Pauli exclusion principle states that identical particles cannot take on the same quantum states. To get around this, physicists came up with color charge. Color charge serves as different quantum states that the quarks can take on. Particles interacting through a strong nuclear force can take on red, green, blue, anti-red, anti-green, or anti-blue. We now know that there are more particles to the atomic nucleus than the classical protons and neutrons. There's this whole mechanism of up quarks, down quarks, gluons, and color charge. Also, there are two variations in a strong force. There is the color force with quarks and gluons, and there is the residual strong force with protons, neutrons, and mesons. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Gilbert Feli. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.